Good evening and welcome to our virtual Christmas Eve service. Uh, it is good to be here with you all and it is uh, good to celebrate tonight the birth of our Lord. Now there is reason to hope, to love, to laugh, and to live. God is truly with us. We are not alone. Let us pray. Gracious God, with joy and thanksgiving we gather as your people. We have come to hear again the timeless story of Christ's birth. In the excitement of this night, quiet our hearts that we might know the peace and the fullness of this holy time. Shine, O light, in the darkness of our world. Sing, O angels, in the stillness of our hearts. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those God favors. This we pray in the name of the child of Bethlehem. Amen. We begin our service this evening with the lighting of the Advent wreath. The increasing light reminds us of the light that is coming into the world to enlighten every person. Sing to the Lord a new song, because he has done wonderful things. His own strong hand and his own holy arm have won the victory. The Lord has made his salvation widely known. He has revealed his righteousness in the eyes of all the nations. God has remembered his loyal love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. Every corner of the earth has seen our God's salvation. Shout triumphantly to the Lord all the earth. Be happy, rejoice out loud, sing your praises. Sing your praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of music. With trumpets and a horn blast, shout triumphantly before the Lord, the King. Let the sea and everything in it roar, the world and all its inhabitants too. Let all the rivers clap in their hands. Let the mountains rejoice out loud all together before the Lord, because he is coming to establish justice on the earth. He will establish justice in the world rightly. He will establish justice among all people fairly. walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in a pitch dark land, light has dawned. You have made the nation great. You have increased its joy. They rejoiced before you as with joy at the harvest, as those who divide plunder rejoice. As on the day of Midian, you've shattered the yoke that burdened them, the staff on their shoulders and the rod of their oppressor. Because every boot of the thundering warriors and every garment rolled in blood will be burned, fuel for the fire. A child is born to us, a son is given to us, and authority will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. There will be vast authority and endless peace for David's throne and for his kingdom, establishing and sustaining it with justice and righteousness now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of heavenly forces will do this. Thine advent. 
driven tear disperse the gloomy clouds of night and death's dark shadows put to flight rejoice rejoice Emmanuel shall come to When God, our Savior's kindness and love appeared, he saved us because of his mercy, not because of righteous things we had done. He did it through the washing of new birth and the renewing by the Holy Spirit, which God poured out upon us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior. So, since we have been made righteous by his grace, we can inherit the hope for eternal life. Then his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favorably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty savior for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors, and he has remembered his holy covenant the oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham, to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Tonight's service is a service of light. As we have heard the words of the prophet declare, those walking in darkness have seen a great light. We are reminded that the light that has come into the world through Jesus Christ. As we walk through the story of the first Christmas this evening, we will experience anew the wonder and joy of Jesus, who is the light. This, however, is not some storybook tale or fairy tale. This is the story of God's work 
in our world. What is more, this story, the story of the light, is our story as well. And tonight, we will tell it once again. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and the angel came to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. But she was deeply troubled by this statement, wondering what kind of greeting this could be. Then the angel told her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Now listen, you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Mary asked the angel, How can this be, since I have not had sexual relations with a man? The angel replied to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. And consider your relative Elizabeth. Even she has conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called childless. For nothing will be impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, said Mary. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel left her.
This is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her fiance, was a good man and did not want to disgrace her publicly. So he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message from his prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Jesus woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife, but he did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born, and Joseph named him Jesus. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping, whom angels greet with anthems sweet while shepherds watch are keeping? This, this is Christ the King whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. Why lies he in such mean estate where ox and ass are feeding? Good Christian fear for sinners here, the silent word is pleading. Nails, spear shall pierce him through, the cross be born for me, for you. Son of Mary, so bring him incense, gold, and myrrh. Come, peasant king, to own him, the king of kings. Salvation brings, let loving hearts enthrone him. song on high the virgin sings her lullaby joy joy for Christ is born the babe the son of Mary in those days Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinus was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Yet in thy dark street shineth 
the everlasting light the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight for christ is born of mary and gathered all above while mortals sleep the angels keep their watch of wandering love all morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing to god the king and peace to men on earth how silently how silently the wondrous gift is given so god imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven no ear may hear his coming but in this world of sin where meek souls will receive him still the dear Christ enters in. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend on us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels the great glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth, cloth and lion in a manger. Suddenly, a great multitude of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favors test rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild god and sinners reconciled joyful all ye nations rise join the triumph of the skies with angelic host proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord. Light and time, behold Him come, offspring of a virgin's womb. Veiled in flesh, the Godhead see. Hail the incarnate deity. Pleased was men with men to dwell. Jesus, our Emmanuel. 
second birth Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all of Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them, where was the Messiah to be born? In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. They opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country on another route. As we celebrate the light that has come into the world, we also celebrate his invitation to us to life and to salvation. Christ invites us to come out of the darkness and into the light, and he invites us to the table of grace. And so we confess today our need of the Lord. Merciful God, we confess that often we find darkness more comfortable than light. We confess that we find your good news frightening and unsettling, especially when we consider its demands as well as its promises. We confess that Christmas has become more to us than the birthday of Christ, partly because we don't want the Christ child in our lives or in our world. Forgive us, break us, bend us, and remake us. 
Give us the courage to lay ourselves open to the wonder and healing of your coming. Be born again into our world. Be born again into our hearts and our lives. Hear now our prayers. Hear now our confessions. We sing and we say that the true light that enlightens all has come into the world. That light shines on in the darkness and the darkness has never and will never be able to put it out. This is the good news. God has heard our confession. God has forgiven our sin. Thanks be to God. Let us now sing together um, that wonderful candlelight hymn, Silent Night. And I encourage you, um, if you have a candle near, to go ahead and light it now and sing it together with us as we once again confess, as we once again celebrate the light that has come into this world. Let us sing Silent Night together. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep As you go tonight, go hearing these words from John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was light to all humankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. As you go tonight, go bearing the light of Christ in your hearts. May your heart and your mouth sing joy to the world, for our Lord has come.